Hello, I am Michelle Baker, the Chief Confidence Igniter, and this is Moment with Michelle, where we actually help you, and I say we, meaning me and my team, but it's just me here today, move you from have to to get to, so that helps you to live and see life differently, so you can see life's possibilities instead of problems. And what that looks like is it looks like having you to actually change the way you look at things, because when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And so today's topic is how to go from looking at your situation, circumstances being hard, to something that's easy. And this does not mean that you're changing the circumstance or situation. It could stay absolutely the same and you have a hundred percent ability to change how you show up confidently in the middle of chaos. Now, what does that look like? Today's letter E A S Y. So easy is to go from excuses to expansion. When you are in the midst of a difficult circumstance, many times you want to start telling the story of what had happened to you, what they did, what they didn't do, what they said, what they didn't say, how unfair it is, how difficult, how hard it is. That limits you because as long as you keep talking about the problem, you keep recreating the problem. You heard me say it before, what you speak about, you bring about 100% of the time. You will never have more in life than what you are talking about. So when you begin to expand past that circumstance and speak confidently that this is temporary, this too shall pass. I have a bigger purpose, dream, life that's on the horizon in this little hiccup. This little bump in the road, oh baby, this ain't gonna stop me. So when you start speaking in that manner, your life will change. Now, A, A is about alibis and about abundance. So alibis is you're saying that it's happening to you. You've become a victim. So you're telling the alibi of the circumstances and you're expanding on it. And every time you tell how hard it was, it gets harder, right? And every time you tell how wrong they were to you, they get wronger. And how, every time you talk about how bad it is, it gets worser. Yes, I just said worser. Your option here is to start to understand that when life is happening for you, not to you. And when you have big, hairy, audacious dreams and goals and targets and a life you're up to, the little minutia, the little things that happen on a daily basis will stop having so much power over you because you don't have time to waste on little people talking mess or gossiping or talking behind your back or traffic or this thing. You are looking and seeing rainbows. You're seeing unicorns. Life is turning up roses and favorable for you because your thoughts and your focus and your actions are curating in you to receive abundance, right? You can't receive abundance if you haven't cr created in yourself a manner to have it received. If you're all bound up in the one, the little problems, it's like you're clinging to the past because that happened yesterday, a week or a month or 10 years ago. So your hands are not open to receive. So alibis versus abundance. S is for setbacks versus set up. Remember that everything that's happening to you, it is not something that, everything that's happening for you is to set you up for success. It is a refining and a defining of your character. A diamond is only a diamond under pressure. And the more cuts, the more precise the cuts, the more valuable the diamond becomes. Start shining, baby. And you heard it. Marion Wilson has a beautiful quote. If you want to Google it, Marion Williamson's Our Deepest Fear. And it's about shining your light and about what happens in your life when you just start shining and being that true North self that you are. It sets you up for success because you become attractive. I love the saying, when you set yourself on fire, people will come and see you born, burn, right? They're going to come from miles around because most people are trying to douse themselves out. They're trying to stay cool and keep it easy. They're not easy, but trying to keep, stay under the radar. Are. They want they want big success, but they aren't doing big bold moves, right? To go do the big bold moves because I promise you, not a lot of people are doing them. So set yourself up every day by your activities. Think about who you're becoming. Think about your future self, the vision, the goals, the dreams you have for yourself. Who is he or she? And how would they decide right now today? Make that decision today and you'll be amazed at how fast your future catches up with your present. And then 
you're off to the races. And then the last one is yes, and. So you're replacing your um, no buts with your yes ands. You are expanding again. So when you say no but, you cut off everything. And what most people do is tell themselves no. They think that someone's too busy. They think that too much time has went by. They think that they're not ready. They think they don't know enough. They think they've got to put it to a better presentation. They need another slide in the deck. I'm here to tell you that you are always already ready. Yes, I said that. You are always already ready. That it wouldn't have presented itself. God, universe, divine, Buddha, Allah, the source would not have presented the opportunity if you were not ready. So when you begin to trust that everything is working in your favor, when you start to look and expand into the fear, span into the uncomfort and the unplanned and all those things, when you begin to abundantly accept that life is working in your favor and you begin to make decisions to set yourself up for success, you will say yes and more and more till it becomes the standard. And all of a sudden you're looking up and your life is so big and beautiful and you're gonna be like, oh my God, I did this. And then that becomes the standard of who you are and all that negative naysayer critical thing that happened in your head, it's going to be a thing of the past. I want you to understand creating an easy life is ain't nothing easy about it. <laughs> this will be one of the hardest things you ever did. And it'll be so worth it. It's about you establishing yourself as a force to be reckoned with and doing that every day, even when you don't feel like it, because you trust that every decision, every decision you make today is for your favorite favorable, fabulous future. I don't know what's going on with the tongue twisters. I'm leaving these all in. Have a wonderful day doing what you do, do it amazing and leave people better off for having met you. And I am a speaker. So I speak in corporate and I speak at um, conferences. I love doing retreats and I am a paid speaker. I will say that I am a highly paid speaker. So this is what I do. I'm amazing at it. You want to have a conversation, click on the link. Let's talk about having a conversation. And I promise you, you read my testimonials on LinkedIn and it will tell you, I will transform your audience in the time frame that you give me to transform them. And they will for ever be transformed in how they think and how they perform and not allowed to go back to the old self. They must operate in the excellence of what we discuss when I do that speaking. Now, also, I'd love to stay connected. So my subscriber, subscribe to my channel, join me on any of my other social media platforms. And it's at michellerbaker.com. Have a great day. And remember, it's your choice 100% of the time, whether you make it hard or whether you make it easy.